This is lab entry number four. Today is the 10th of January, 2019. My name is Sari Saban. And today I'm going to very quickly show you how we train a neural network. So the type of neural network that I will be showing you today, it's, it's called um, YOLO version two. And I've already set it up. Uh, of course, the, the one I will be using will be YOLO version three, uh, because YOLO version three is much more accurate, but it requires a lot of um, computational resources, which I, I can't provide uh, right now. So I'm going to use YOLO version 2 just to demonstrate how a neural network is being trained and of course show you the database. Now, now the database that I have set up is just a mock database because obviously I haven't uh, purchased any of the permanent slides, uh, so I can't develop my database right now, but I just took some random pictures from uh, the internet and I've annotated them. And of course, I've repeated that around 40 times, which I think should be enough. And these, of course, are the annotations, and then they are translated into XML for the neural network. Now, the neural network is very straightforward. What will happen is I will, um, I've uploaded my database to a Dropbox, so I can Im uh, import it to the uh, Google Collaboratory uh, uh, page. Uh, so here I am just downloading the database. Uh, sorry, the data set, uh, then changing its name so I can extract it. And this is just a small uh, um, uh, program that I need to install in, in order for the neural network to work. And this is the entire neural ne network. What I will be looking for is just one class. So just to see whether the image has a cell or doesn't have a cell. Uh, and at the, this is actually the, the exact uh, code of the neural network here and everything else would be image processing before and after the training. Uh, after the, uh, the training is complete, I will run a prediction. Now, usually I don't run a prediction on one of the images that I've used in the training, but again, I'm ju I just want to show you what the output looks like. So let's start. Uh, let me connect and I will be requesting a GPU. The nice thing about Google's collaboratory is that they provide a free GPU. Uh, usually just for tw uh, 12 hours. So it's very nice, uh, a quick way to test whether your neural network works or not. Uh, some of these new, uh, networks are quite big, so they will not fit into a little laptop uh, like mine. So that's actually a very nice service. Now that we're connected, we will run this script, which is very large. It will start by downloading the database, extracting it, installing that little uh, package that I need that is missing, and then it will start the training process. Um, you can see because obviously it's uh, in the cloud, it's, uh, get, it downloads the data, uh, data set quickly, install the program, and then here, this is the start of the neural network, and now it's going to start training. Now, I'm not going to have you watch the entire training process. Obviously, it takes a very long time. Um, I might just leave the recording on and then just uh, once it starts going, it hasn't started yet. Once it starts going, I'll just speed it through and uh, hopefully you can see uh, what's going on. So I have one epoch. Epoch is more or less like a cycle, one out of uh, 1,000, but I'm not going to reach 1,000. What I have here is a checkpoint which means if my training, here, the, the training just started. If my training um, doesn't, uh, the, the, the loss function, which is how much error the neural network makes, if the loss doesn't improve, or if there is no improvement on the accuracy of the neural network for 10 consecutive epochs or 10 consecutive cycles, then the network just quits. Um, there's no need to, uh, reach a thousand epochs if uh, more or less I've reached a plateau. Here there's a second epoch. I'll probably reach something around 40. So I'm just going to leave this on and hopefully when it's done, I'll, during the editing of the video, I'll try to speed it uh, so you can see the entire uh, training very quickly. And then of course, I'm going to run a prediction so you can see what the output looks like.
Okay, that finished uh, faster than I thought. It only took 34 uh, epochs and uh, the validation loss uh, went down to 0 0.01. Uh, of course, uh, this is not a really uh, great uh, training because uh, the data set is just um, just a mock data set and of course there's only 40 uh, images. And uh, of course, the larger the data set, the, uh, the longer it will take and the more computational power it will request. Uh, let's see a prediction. Um, I just, I'm trying to see if it can predict um, the cells in image three. And yeah, as you can see, it, fo it found one, two, three, four, five cells and it made one error. Um, so this is what the uh, object detection would look like. Of course, if there are different classes, it will it will try to predict this cell type as a class A, for example, and this, for example, class B. If this is class A, then try to get it as class A. And I'm hoping that I would do this, but with different uh, with different dinoflagellate species. So, so if an image has different types of uh, dinoflagellate species, it can tell me which one is which. I hope this was informative, and and thank you very much for everyone who has donated to my campaign. I really appreciate it. Uh, I will keep you updated, um, especially when I purchase the permanent slides. I'm going to st uh, update the lab notes here and show you when I've uh, when I've requested the permanent slides, when I, when they've reached me, the images that I've took, the database that I have set up, and of course the training.